for all the wish trenders who might be into youthful aging. Start a skincare journey for youthful aging with this video. Should we take a look at what causes aging first? Let me tell you the four factors beyond what causes aging. The first one is UV rays. UV exposure is the direct cause of aging. And if your skin is exposed to the UV rays for a long time, actually the production of collagen in our dermis decreases. And this actually makes the skin thinner and this causes changes in the elastic fibers of our skin. So this actually causes the decrease of the elasticity of our skin and also it will lead to wrinkles later on. So number two is free radicals. Created from our subcutaneous fat in our body, free radicals actually damages our cells and plays a huge role in protecting our body's aging. So moving on to the third factor is dry skin. So as you age, less sebum is produced and less sebum is produced as you age. So the rate of aging actually just accelerates as you age because basically less sebum is produced, causing dryness due to lower level of moisture in our skin. Number four is lifestyles. So I know that a lot of things in our lifestyles can cause aging really fast, but smoking in particular can really cause and speed up the process of our skin aging. So very interestingly, when we do the, when we blow out the smoke, I guess, when we smoke, that motion can cause wrinkles. When we do this, it can actually lower level of oxygen around our mouth, which can lead to the formation of wrinkles. What should we do for youthful skin? All right, so before we get started, I think we should talk about the definition of youthful skin. Yes. And it's very important that number one, that your skin is hydrated, and number two, that you have a very smooth texture, and number three, that you have elasticity. Skin aging actually begins around the age of 25, and it escalates after the age of 30 even more. But <laughs> I know, sad, sad face. Um, but don't worry guys, even though we can't avoid aging, we can definitely slow it down. So we'll start off with the do's for youthful skin. Do number one, keep your elastic fiber. All right guys, so let's look at this picture right now. There are two different people, but they do look alike, but their age looks a bit different, mm -hmm. right? How old do you think they are? All right, so they do look alike, but they actually look to be about 10 to 15, 20 years apart. What yeah. do you think? Yes, yeah. that's what I first thought when I saw this picture. Mm -hmm. However, they're twins. They're actually born on the exact same day. The reason why one sister looks way older than the other sister is because her elastic fiber is destroyed. <laughs> So this is a definition of having strong elastic fiber. When you have a ball and you bounce it and that force that comes and brings it back up to its original place and position, mm. that is elasticity. So when we pull our skin and if it comes back to its place, that means it has elasticity. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so elasticity comes from our elastic fiber. Mm. All right guys, so to explain this very easily, we have this prepared for you guys. Let's take a look. What's on the screen is a picture of the skin structure. The skin's dermal layer is largely constituted by elastic fiber, collagen, and ground substance that includes hyaluronic acid, which attracts moisture. So you guys have heard of the word collagen a lot when we talk about skin aging, yes? When collagen thins down or gets destroyed, it causes fine lines. But when elastic fiber is destroyed, skin's elasticity decreases and causes deep wrinkles. And collagen is important too, but elastic fiber is extremely important because it acts as a support system that connects the epidermis and the derma layer of the skin. So once the elastic fiber is destroyed, it's really hard to recover. That's why in the beginning, it's very important that we keep our elastic fiber safe. So the first way that you can protect your elastic fiber is sunscreen. Yes, ladies yes. and gentlemen, that's very important because the biggest thing that destroys our elastic fiber is the UV rays. I heard that even on a non-sunny day, it's really important to always wear sunscreen, even always. if it's raining. Yes, 365 days a year. Mm -hmm. You have to wear it every single day. We can't emphasize enough how important sunscreen is. It's not optional, it's mandatory. 
So now we will show you guys how to apply sunscreen properly. Squeeze out and use this amount of it from here to here. Tap the product into the face overall and put another layer on areas on the face that stick out. Do number two. Cool down your skin. All right, so it is summertime in Korea. Bikinis. <laughs> <laughs> so hot. Yeah, a <laughs> lot of good things that's coming up because it's summertime. However, if you stay in the sun for just like 15 minutes, our skin's temperature goes up like mm -hmm. crazy. It goes up until 40 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. However, for healthy skin, 30 to 32 mm -hmm. degrees Celsius is really the healthy like level. So we know that UV rays are really bad for youthful mm -hmm. skin. However, realistically, it's really hard to avoid it. That's right. When the skin heats up, the collagen is destroyed, which means the skin becomes more dry and also less elastic. This is why it's really important to cool down your heated skin as it is to avoid UV rays. Mm. Okay, Luisa, please share with us how you can lower the temperature of our skin. Okay, Eunice, this is my top secret, but just for you. First, what you want to do is spray your face with a face mist with cooling properties. That feels nice, right? Lower the temperature of your skin by spraying a mist that has immediate cooling effects. But never spray the mist or apply skincare products when your face is still sweaty. It is best to wash your face off of sweat and impurities by lukewarm water and then spray the mist. Second, you want to apply a gel type cooling product. You can cool down your skin fast by applying a cold gel type product that has been stored in the fridge. However, when your skin is extremely heated, very cold cream can be irritating to the skin. So apply it after washing your face with lukewarm water. Third, you can do a face mask. After you have washed off sweat and impurities with lukewarm water, lightly wipe away your face with a toner. Then soak up some sponge pads with a toner, put it on your skin, and remove them after 5 to 10 minutes. Then layer the toner on your skin and make sure all products get absorbed, recovering your damaged skin. Apply non-irritating cream on top of that. Now what's important here is actually the ingredients that are in the toner. So you want to avoid ingredients such as alcohol and ethanol because those ingredients do cool down our skin, but once they evaporate, they can actually dry out and irritate our skin even more. Here, cetyl alcohol is not included in the types of alcohol that can irritate your skin. Cetyl alcohol is fat-based alcohol that is created by ingredients extracted from coconut and palm oil. It is low irritating and very hydrating, which moisturizes your skin and improves your skin to be shiny and smooth. It is also sometimes used as an emulsion stabilizer, which means it emulsifies different cosmetic ingredients and in products. And this means it can be used to control the thickness of different cosmetic products. Do number three, hyaluronic acid and peptides. Isn't hyaluronic acid important for very dry skin? Mm, mm, definitely. And I've also heard that peptide is really important, but I remember the description was a little bit hard for me to understand. So to keep youthful skin, it is important that we say goodbye to dry skin. So the drier your skin is, the faster the aging process is gonna you know, start speeding up. And also if your skin is dry, it's gonna give you other skin concerns as well. So that is why it is so important for us to keep our skin hydrated. And I'm gonna introduce you to two excellent ingredients that will help us. Number one is hyaluronic acid and number two is peptides. So the first one is hyaluronic acid and we're gonna hydrate our skin with hyaluronic acid. It's very important because what it does for us is it locks in the moisture in our skin. That might evaporate and fly away. So this is a very important ingredient for us. Hyaluronic acid has great ability to absorb moisture. So when hyaluronic acid decreases, more moisture evaporates, resulting in dry, less elastic skin. After you reach your 40s, hyaluronic acid that was in the skin reduces to about half the amount you originally had. Then when you use hyaluronic acid, it keeps the skin from external irritation and slows down the aging, recovering the skin that has already aged. Second is wrinkle improvement through peptides. That is such an excellent ingredient. So peptide is an ingredient that will help to keep your skin hydrated, not just on the outside layer, but deep within your skin. And also it will keep your skin very healthy. 
So I have this prepared for us. <laughs> I'm gonna read it for you guys. Peptide is the smallest unit that has protein functions that synthesizes amino acid, a constituent in protein. A number of peptides synthesize to form a molecule of protein, and the small molecule structure penetrates into the skin to synthesize collagen and elastin. Now that was a lot, Eunice. So what exactly does all this mean? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you actually in more simple way okay, for you guys you. <laughs> to be able to understand. So easily, peptide is the protein that our skin takes in. EGF is a very, very popular and an excellent product that is in peptide products. It gets involved in collagen synthesis, it helps to remove dead cells, and also it rejuvenates our skin. It gets involved in collagen synthesis, and also it helps to remove dead cells, and most importantly, it helps to regenerate our skin. Mm. It also speeds up the skin renewal cycle, and it also helps to prevent aging, which is very important. That's what we're talking about today. And also, it helps to remove dead skin cells, so it improves the overall skin texture as well. A tip here is that the peptide in the blue drop doubles the effect of the product that you're gonna put on afterwards. So putting on a peptide product, then applying hyaluronic acid will help to achieve youthful and fresh skin. So thank you so much for these tips, Eunice. <laughs> and I basically need to go now and get some peptide, right? Let's do it, let's yeah. do it. <laughs> do number four. Eat and apply vitamin well. All right, so the vitamin that helps to antioxidize and also keep our youthful skin is vitamin C and vitamin E. So vitamin C provides an important role in metabolism because it helps to absorb all these other nutrients and it's also an important nutrient for life and health itself. I love vitamin C. Mm -hmm. However, our bodies cannot create vitamin C itself, so we have to get it from the outside. So when consumed only 100 milligrams a day, vitamin C can get absorbed by the end of our small intestine. On the skin, it helps to stabilize collagen when collagen is being formed and it also has the ability to remove active oxygen from those UV rays. Yes, antioxidant. Yes. So vitamin C is great because it can improve skin pigmentation, mm. it can take away those fine lines, and it also hydrates our skin as well. Therefore, edible vitamin C and vitamin C to put on your skin are both very good. Now, the most well-known effect of vitamin E is to remove active oxygen on our skin. Our body needs oxygen, but if improper oxygen is created in the body, then it becomes acidic through active oxygen and it causes aging in the blood and structures like when apples turn brown. When you apply vitamin E on the skin, it prevents the dismantling of collagen caused by UV exposure and protects the firmness of the derma. It reduces redness, edema, and sensitivity of the skin. So unlike vitamin C that is water soluble, vitamin E is actually oil soluble. So you have to be careful about the amount you're putting in your body because it can actually be sedimented into your body. Now this is a secret just for you wish trenders, oh. but yes, vitamin C and vitamin E is better when it's applied and consumed together as opposed to when you do it separately. Do number five. Blood circulation. <laughs> All right, so do you ever have that feeling where you think you slept well, but your skin complexion looks so bad, you still look really tired, and maybe you know the wrinkles and the fine lines on your face is more visible? Do you ever get those days? Eunice, I, I do have a lot of those days, <laughs> yes, unfortunately. <laughs> because maybe of your job too, especially because yeah. you're a flight attendant, yeah. and I just feel like, Maybe it'll be more tough, you know? Right, so even though I get a really good night's rest, on days when I'm working and I'm kind of standing up for a very long time, I usually get those symptoms that you just mentioned. Girl, I'm so glad that you mentioned that because standing up for a very long time and stuff, it's probably because your blood circulation is not circulating like really well. Right. So that's why, you know, blood circulation, people don't really think about it, but it's very, very important, not just for our health, but also for our skin's health as well. So I'm gonna be sharing two ways that you can improve blood circulation, okay? Tell me! Let's start! <laughs> First exercise, lay on the bed and lower your head downwards. The blood travels downwards when you sit or stand all day. This posture, however, sends the blood to the face to help blood circulation and also helps to prevent skin sagging due to gravity. Do it for about three minutes each time. 
After finishing your basic skincare routine, do an A E I O U with your mouth. This stretches your facial muscles and helps blood circulation and increases the absorption of the products you have applied. The effects of skincare products differ a lot according to how well your skin has absorbed it. Stick your lips out and throw back your head so your neck is completely stretched. Facial stretching is also good to do frequently. All right, so that was pretty difficult, mm -hmm. I know, yes. but it gets easier if you do it every single day and it will make a difference. Yes. How was it for you? Uh, it, was, it wasn't It was hard to do, but I think I need to like hide in secret when I do it. Yeah, you know? it's too funny. <laughs> Okay, so lastly, I have something very important to say. So there's a research that shows on the average, a person that smiles a lot looks two years younger than their age. However, compared to that, for those that have kind of sad faces or gloomy faces, they look one year older than their actual age. So I think it's really realistically very important that at all times we smile and we try to you know put on a really big smile for ourselves and and for our youthful skin as well and we have more tips other than these five did you know that at home no equipment face yoga can also help youthful aging you can choose which one you might need and then go along with that number one for neck wrinkles while looking ahead start from the bottom of the neck and massage backwards and upwards until you reach the top of your neck Tilt the head back and repeat. Tilt the head forward and repeat. Finally, push the lower lip as outward as far as you can and while looking up, hold the collarbones down with four fingers. Hold for four breaths and you're done! Do this for two minutes to slowly improve the appearance of wrinkles on your neck. While doing this, add a serum or a mask to help fight those wrinkles even faster. Using a mask type product that has anti-aging ingredients such as ginseng will help to detoxify your skin as well. They also have warming properties that will help the nourishment from the ginseng to really absorb into the skin, all the while improving elasticity and the wrinkles. Number two, for sunken eyes and droopy eyebrows. Place one pointer finger under each eye, pointing in towards the nose. Slightly open the mouth and cover the teeth using your lips. Curve them inwards towards the inside of the mouth. Look up at the ceiling while fluttering your upper eyelids for 30 seconds. While doing this, try to use a serum around your eyes so that the puffiness can be gone and it'll also be hydrated. This will also help to improve elasticity and wrinkles around that area. Number three. For forehead lines, place both hands on the forehead facing inwards and spread all four fingers down from the hairline to the eyebrows. Apply gentle pressure and sweep your fingers across the forehead, going outwards to the edges of the face. Repeat 10 times. Number 4. For smile lines. Make an O shape with your mouth and firmly press your tongue into one side of your mouth where your smile lines are. Hold for 10 to 15 seconds and repeat on the other side and do this for a total of 1 to 2 minutes. Then wrap your lips around your teeth and pull the top and bottom lip apart with your pointer fingers. Holding this position, smooth your index fingers up to your mouth to nose lines as if you're creating a smile. Repeat 10 times. Number five, for frown lines. Use your pointer, middle, and ring finger to gently lift your eyebrows while slowly trying to close your eyes. Repeat eight times. Finish by gently stroking your forehead with your fingers to smooth the forehead area and stimulate blood flow. The biggest concerns of wrinkles and dark circles, can they be gone? Let's say your dark circle has a bluish color to it. This could mean that you have a stressful lifestyle, lack of sleep, allergies, and stuffy nose. So your lifestyle is probably the most responsible for your bluish dark circles. 
If you're stressed out and if you have a stuffy nose or if you're prone to allergies, then you may have blue dark circles. You may have nasal decongestion that could slow down microcirculation, making your blood less oxygenated, turning it from bright red to dull blue. The solution? Guys, get enough sleep. Sleep is not only important for dark circle care, but any sort of skin care. So the first tip while you sleep, make sure that you don't apply too much pressure on your eye area. Second, make sure to take out your contact lenses before you go to sleep and remove all the eye makeup. And finally, don't look at your cell phone too long before you go to sleep in the dark because this could also stress out your eyes. Second tip, never ever rub your eyes. The skin under your eyes is very thin and delicate, so if you rub it, this can mean that you could worsen the pigmentation and redden the eye area. Remember to minimize irritation as much as possible. If your eyes feel itchy, the best thing to do is use eye drops or try to fan them a little bit just to cool it down. Another tip that I can give you guys is instead of rubbing your eyes, try getting a really mild soothing cream on your hands and rub gently and massage the eye area. Second, brownish color. The reasons, aging, genetic factors, blood vessels showing, and thinning of the under eye area. Sun damaged and genetics could give you hyperpigmentation under your eyes, giving you brown or black circles under your eyes. While all skin tones are susceptible to dark circle caused by excess pigmentation, they are most common in medium to darker skin tones. Solution. Never forget to apply SPF underneath the eyes. The biggest reason why you get dark circle is because your skin gets damaged due to the UV rays. Make sure to apply SPF all over your face, including your under eyes, guys. But because the skin underneath your eyes is thin, try not to use a heavy type of sunscreen or something that could dry out that area. So I recommend the Claire's Blue Sun Lotion. Before applying your foundation and BB cream, apply sun lotion. But because the area underneath your eyes can get irritated, don't rub it with your hands, but use a sponge and thoroughly apply. But if you're applying makeup, then don't apply too much on your face and just use a BB cream or a concealer that contains SPF. SPF needs to be added throughout the day, so from three to four hours, reapply SPF underneath your eyes. Brightening with vitamin C. This would vary depending on what sort of dark circles you have, but if you take care of the pigmentation and the darkening under your eyes, you could see a brightening effect. Using a vitamin serum that's mild like the Claire's Vitamin Drop on your fourth finger and gently pressing down on the under eye areas could really help brighten your eye area. Three, brightening care with niacinamide. Niacinamide is also an ingredient that really helps with brightening. Tip, the hours long sheet mask that contains niacinamide is designed to cover up all the areas around the eyes. Make sure not to get it inside your eyes though and thoroughly care for your under eye area. Another thing that you could do is use a sleep mask that contains a brightening ingredient such as vitamin E before you go to sleep. A thin layer. Third, purplish color, aging and genetics. What you're seeing is your blood vessels. As you get older and your skin ages, your skin gets thinner, making your blood vessels more apparent. If you have particularly fair skin, then genetics is usually the culprit. Your skin tends to be more translucent, making your blood vessels more visible. Tip, anti-aging care under the eyes. After cleansing and before toner, apply the blue drop using your fingers gently under the eyes. With the ingredient peptide and EGF, it'll help fade wrinkles around the eyes and boost collagen synthesis. After cleansing and again before toner, use a sponge cotton pad and soak it with the blue drop and place it underneath the eyes for 1-2 to two minutes. Or you could do the same using the toner instead. Shadowed dark circles. The causes may be aging or weight loss or there's a deep valley between your eyes and your cheekbones. This is part of your facial structure more than your skin trouble. Finally, general tips not to worsen your dark circles. First step, like I mentioned previously guys, always, always, always remove your makeup. Even if you applied makeup or even if you didn't apply makeup, try to get rid of all the dirt and waste away from your eyes before you go to sleep. Especially if you applied eyeliner or mascara or eyeshadow or any form of eye makeup throughout that day, try using a cleansing oil to thoroughly get rid of it. Tip. Use a cleansing oil and your fourth finger to gently remove and massage the makeup around your eyes. Or use a sponge pad and cleansing oil on the sponge pad and wipe away. 
If you want to do a more detailed job of the makeup removal, then get a Q-tip and the cleansing oil once again and remove. If your makeup tends to come down and smear throughout the day, then try using a Q-tip and a toner or a light cream to gently wipe away. Try not to get cleansing products into your eyes though, be careful. Moisturize your under eye area with a light moisturizer. Everyone knows that it's important to moisturize your skin, but they often tend to forget about the under eye area. Your skin under your eyes is prone to drying and it's really thin and delicate, so it's really important to treat it properly. Avoid heavy concealer. So some of you with dark circles may use a lot of concealer to try and cover it up. But using heavy concealer could dry out your under eye areas and actually make your eyes more tiresome, causing even more dark circles. Instead of using a heavy concealer and piling it underneath your eyes, try using a lightweight and mild concealer or a color corrector that could cancel out the black and dull color under your eyes. Makeup is actually one of the reasons why Korean women look so young. 모양 등에 다양한 조건들이 있어요. 저는 피부, 눈, 코, 입, 얼굴 라인까지 이렇게 다섯 가지 섹션으로 나눠서 화장하면서 설명해 드릴 거예요. 튜토리얼을 하기 전에 메이크업으로 표현이 가능한 동안의 조건들을 알아볼까요? 피부는 아기같이 잡티 없고 건강해 보이는 피부. 가하지 않은 눈과 눈썹 메이크업. 통통한 애교살. 짧고 끝이 둥근 코, 주름 없이 통통한 입술, 전체적으로 동그란 얼굴 라인, 볼륨 있는 볼, 이마, 둥근 턱 라인이면 동안 페이스로 보일 수 있습니다. 먼저 동안의 핵심인 깨끗하고 투명한 피부를 위해 클레어스 BB 제품을 사용할 거예요. 잡티 없는 피부를 위해 파운데이션과 베이스 제품을 너무 두껍고 가하게 덧칠하면 오히려 부자연스러운 느낌이 들수 있어요. 하지만 클레어스 BB는 본연의 피부결을 살리고 피부를 자연스럽게 보정해줘요. 저는 23호를 쓰는데 저와 같은 동양인들은 거의 다잘 맞을 거예요. 저보다 피부가 어두운 사람 혹은 밝으신 분들은 평소에 쓰시던 파운데이션 섞어 바르면 촉촉한 피부 표현을 할수 있을 거예요. 그래도 잡티가 크게 보이는 부분은 클레어스 크리미 앤 내추럴 컨실러로 가려줄게요. 이 컨실러는 들뜨거나 갈라지지 않고 오랫동안 촉촉하게 커버가 가능하더라고요. 그래서 클레어스 비비랑 찰떡 궁합으로 동안 피부를 완성할 수 있어요. 특히나 자극적일까봐 컨실러를 쓰지 않았던 민감성 피부도 사용할 수 있는 저자극 포뮬러라고 하니 진짜 강력 추천합니다. 강추 강추 먼저 눈썹 모양에 따라 동안의 상징인 일자 눈썹을 그려줄 거예요. 눈썹 틀을 먼저 그려준 뒤 안에를 채워 그려줄게요. 반대쪽도 똑같이 그려줄게요. 일자 눈썹 완성! 연한 핑크기가 도는 아이섀도로 눈두덩 위아래를 밝혀주는 느낌으로 베이스를 깔아줄게요. 그 다음 작은 펄이 들어간 섀도로 눈두덩 전체에 덧발라 음영을 줄게요. 진하지 않은 엘로우 브라운 아이섀도로 삼각존의 음영을 더해 눈에 깊이감을 줄게요. 글리터 섀도로 애교살을 밝히듯 애교살 전체에 발라주고 눈썹을 그려줬던 아이브로우로 애교살을 그려줄게요. 너무 진한 부분은 퍼프로 블렌딩해서 살짝 정리해줄게요. 아이라인은 자연스러운 브라운을 선택해줬어요. 눈 모양에 따라 속눈썹 사이사이까지 꼼꼼하게 발라줄게요. 너무 길어지지 않게 조심해주세요. 
진한 초코색 음영 섀도로 삼각존의 음영감을 더해줄게요. 뷰러로 속눈썹을 바짝 컬링해줄게요. 속눈썹도 브라운 컬러를 선택해줬어요. 속눈썹이 뭉치지 않게 발라줄게요. 이렇게 하면 강아지상 같은 동안 아이 메이크업은 완성입니다. 다음은 컨투어링을 해줄 건데요. 저처럼 플러피한 브러쉬를 이용해 주시면 진하지 않은 자연스러운 컨투어링이 가능해요. 코, 광대, 인중, 턱, 이마, 눈 앞머리 자연스럽게 하이라이팅을 해줄게요. 진하지 않게 콧대를 가볍게 쓸어주듯 코세딩을 해줄게요. 턱 쉐딩을 광대와 얼굴 외곽을 감싸듯 쉐딩을 해주고 이마 외곽을 해줘서 전체적인 얼굴형이 동안 같은 동그란 인상이 될수 있게 해줄게요. 이렇게 하면 동안 컨투어링 완성입니다. 밝은 코랄색의 크림 블러셔예요. 앞볼이 통통해 보이도록 눈밑 부분에 가로로 발라줄게요. 동안 블러셔 완성! 컨실러로 입술의 외곽을 먼저 정리해준 뒤 코랄색의 립스틱으로 입술 전체에 발라줄게요. 그 다음 레드 계열의 립글로즈를 입술 가운데만 진해지지 않게 그라데이션을 해줄게요. 그 다음 촉촉한 립밤으로 입술 전체에 발라주면 블로시한 통통한 동안 립 메이크업 완성입니다. 적어도 두 살은 어려졌죠? Will using youthful aging products for two weeks really improve your skin? And I'm a student right now. So tell me what your skin type is or what your skin concern is. So I basically have combination skin. Mm -hmm. So I'm really dry around my cheek mm -hmm. area. Same, same. I have a little bit of oil around here, but it's not like too insanely oily. Another weird thing is I have these weird, not blackhead nor whitehead things on uh -huh. my cheek. Little enlarged pores mm -hmm. all around my cheek area. Same, same in the butterfly zone mm -hmm. kind of. And black, dark, dark circles. Can you tell? They're no, really dark. No, it's not that <laughs> bad. It's not that bad. They're pretty bad. So yeah, those things, they're mm. my skin concerns. Mm. Totally feel you because I have so many skin concerns also. It's never mm. just one or two, you mm -hmm. know, it's like four or five. But you are dealing with number one, wrinkles, mm -hmm. and then number two, dull complexion, yeah, right? Yeah, with my dark circles. For sure, dark circles too. And then number three, elasticity of yeah, your skin. That's mm -hmm. the poor part. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to find out what kind of condition your skin is in currently. Are you ready? Ready? Okay. This is always scary, but it's okay. All right. I'll walk you through it. All right, Alice, we have the selection of products for you. Yay. Please try them and let us know what your first impressions were. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. All right, Alex, so we're gonna use this product every single day for three weeks, and you have to tell our wish trenders your honest review, okay? Okay, okay. I can do that. All right, 약속. The first product is the blue drop. I've seen some comments that say, I don't understand why people use this blue water. The watery texture delivers the peptide into a deep layer of your skin, so it improves your skin a lot. So this is really watery. I think it's kind of hard to put it on. It doesn't really have specific smell I think with, I think that's good yeah right now it feels a little bit sticky but not like to an extent where it feels uncomfortable it's fine the second product is rice water it brightens your exhausted and dual skin make sure you shake it well before you use it
This one definitely feels a little bit more oily than other toners that I'm used to, but it's got a pretty fresh finish. But it does feel a little bit slippery on the skin, but in a way that it's like super moisturizing. The third product is the Watery Oil Drop. With its enzyme extracts, you can experience this regeneration and youthful skin. I know that this oil drop is being advertised as an oilless oil drop, so it's oil but not actually oil. It does feel like that on the skin. It has the sort of protecting feeling of the oil, but not the heaviness of the oil. Mm, no smell, which I like. I think my skin looks really glowy and nice, which is something that I like to look like. The fourth is the Chinseng Eye Cream. It contains all three Chinseng, red Chinseng, and wood cultivated Chinsengs, providing nourishment to your eye area and smoothing out your skin texture. It also helps to improve your elasticity. First of all, this one, I really like the smell. It's got a it's like a really nice smell to fall asleep to and you usually use eye cream before going to bed so that's nice. Um, what else? It's, it's just like a very normal cream like texture that you can see in any other moisturizer. I've never actually used eye cream so I'm pretty excited about its effects. First, uh, first feeling, just a normal eye cream. The last product is 75 Vitamin Cream. It contains 75% of vitamin water instead of using distilled water. And it contains natural oil which is rich in vitamin E. It also helps your skin to become more transparent and brightened. With this one, I would say it has the lightest finish after the blue drop which, I, which is really nice because this is the last step of the skincare and I was a little bit worried that because all the other products were a little bit sticky I didn't want to have my face sticky for the rest of the day but this has a pretty fresh finish texture wise it's almost it's so it's really thick it's almost Vaseline looking to me but it's surprising that it doesn't feel that heavy on your skin which is nice I know that you beauty gurus already know, but the order that we put on our products is very important. So you're gonna start from the most watery texture, and then you're gonna move on to a more viscous or even a little bit heavier or sticky texture. Hi everyone, how are you? So today is the first day of me trying out the products that they gave me. When I was filming earlier at the studio, I was really nervous and awkward, so I didn't know what to say. I still don't know, but I'm trying to figure it out. Hi everyone! I'm back! Today is Friday, so day 5. And I'm gonna get to my skincare now. Uh, today's Sunday, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So like day 7, exactly one week of trying this routine now. And yeah, let me begin. Hi everyone! Today is day 8. Hi everyone! I'm back and it's day 12. I'm gonna get to my skincare right now. Hi everyone! It's day 14 and I just washed my face. Um, now I'm gonna get to my skincare. How are you? I'm back and today is the last day of the routine of the three weeks. Um, I'm excited to go see at the studio how my skin has actually improved like measurement wise. I do feel a lot better. I can see that it's a lot better. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to show you guys the results. Bye! Hi everyone, I'm back. It's my last interview. It's been three weeks since I've using I've been using all these products and I am so glad that I decided to partake in this because I feel like my skin has improved so much. I feel like this routine was 
so much better for my skin because I feel like my skin has gotten stronger and more nourished. And another thing is all the fine lines around my eyes, I felt like they were more visible because my skin was always dry but they you can't really see them anymore. I feel like. And another thing is um my pores were a little bit like saggy like vertically but now I feel like my skin has become like more elastic like has more elasticity than back then. And the last thing is before trying out the routine, I was actually quite concerned that this is gonna make my skin really oily because I have combination skin, right? So like this part is oily and then this is dry. So I thought this, the routine seemed like it was a little bit heavy. I was worried that it was gonna make this oily part even more oilier, but that didn't happen. So if you're worried about that, don't worry about it. It's not gonna happen. So after three weeks of trying out the routine, I am extremely satisfied with the results. So yeah, that's why I'm gonna keep on using the routine and the products they gave me. So I hope you guys all try this and yeah, bye! Did you guys like our Youthful Aging Special after our acne specials? We included the routines for Youthful Aging in the description box, so please check it out. Thank you guys for watching.